This panel shows us a fun trick to make light flow out like water and it really works. To begin we need a table with a bucket full of water placed on its edge. On one end of the bucket there should be a small window for light to pass through and on the other end there is a literal hole for water to flow out from. After that we need to shine a laser through the window and let the water get out of the hole into another bucket on the ground. If done correctly in a dim environment you will witness light follow the water's curvy path all the way down to the bucket as if you were pouring light. So why does it work? This happens because of the difference in the refractive in index between air and water. Water has a higher refractive index than air, which means light travels slower in water and bends when it passes from one medium to another. While light enters the water stream at the right angle, it gets trapped inside due to a phenomenon called total internal reflection. There is also an important factor at play here, the angle of incidence. That's why we needed a bucket with water flowing out of it. The angle of the water stream is greater than the critical angle, which is around 48 degrees for water. This angle allows the light to bounce along the inside of the water stream instead of escaping into the air. But this isn't the only way to make this work. If you grab a fiber optic cable and shine a laser through one end, the light will appear on the other side even if the cable is twisted or intertwined with other cables. Technicians use this trick to trace where fiber optic cables are coming from in a tangled mess. But more importantly, this is how internet is transferred overseas. The technology that connects us and lets you view this video from the comfort of your home. In Engineers use the same principle as the water bucket experiment to construct fiber optic cables. These cables have a core made of glass with a high refractive index, surrounded with a cladding layer with a lower refractive index. This difference in refractive indices allows light to bounce along the core, following its path to the destination. To transmit information through these cables, a system called pulse code modulation is used, which is like a fancier, more advanced version of Morse code. The signal is divided into sections and encoded and organized by time. This creates many possible box-like levels, each holding information in binary, ones and zeros, which can then be translated into words, images or audio. So in a nutshell, there is a flash of light for a one and nothing for a zero. The light flickers and delivers information at incredible speeds. 